Sports. Hello there. My name is Adam Levine, and I'm a product manager on the Amazon Aurora team. I'm here to speak with you today about getting started with Amazon Aurora Zero ETL integration with Amazon Redshift. Um, and really, this is all about operational analytics on transactional data. So are you in the right place is the first question. If you're a data engineer or a data analyst, or you worry about data pipelines, or you know, you're concerned about running analytical style queries on operational data, this session is for you. We're gonna talk about how to achieve analytics on operational data. In this session, we're gonna, going to cover three topics. We'll cover challenges with operational analytics. Uh, we'll talk about, you know, how we're trying to simplify operational analytics. And then we'll dive into a little bit of, about how an Amazon Aurora Zero ETL integration with Amazon Redshift works. So let's get started. As customers become more data-driven and utilize data as an asset or a source of competitive advantage, they increasingly want near real-time analytics. You know, this can help understand core business drivers to grow sales, reduce costs, optimize businesses um, across a variety of use cases. Here you see a you know, few examples around personalization, fraud detection, churn, churn prevention, sales operations. You know, there are many reasons why you'd want to enable operational analytics on transactional data. But the two main categories of solutions today can be challenging to achieve. For example, an, a single system that processes transactions and analytics on the same database um, can be limiting because of contention for resources, uh, cost, or just you know, general challenges in operationalizing that and managing that system. Likewise, moving data from an operational database to an analytical solution can be challenging as well because of the manual data pipelines that are required. These data pipelines can be expensive and cumbersome. They can be complex to maintain. Um, you have to worry about incomplete or inconsistent or stale data. Um, and it just makes things a little bit too complicated for when all you want to do is get your data to an analytic solution. There are many great reasons out there for why you want to create a data pipeline, but if all you're trying to do is analyze transactional data, that overhead can be a little bit more than you want. So starting with Amazon Redshift, which is easy, secure, and reliable, and it allows you to analyze all your data with best price performance at any scale. In fact, Redshift delivers up to 5x better price performance than other cloud data warehouse solutions. And when it comes to innovations, the separation of compute and storage in Amazon Redshift with Amazon Redshift Managed Storage enables petabit scale high performance storage and allows scaling of compute and storage independently. So tens of thousands of customers collectively analyze exabytes of data every day on Amazon Redshift. And so it's a really robust solution for running analytic workloads. At the same time, Amazon Aurora is a relational database service that combines the speed of high-end commercial databases with the simplicity and cost-effectiveness of open source database. It offers performance and scalability, availability and durability, it's highly secure and fully managed for you. And the separation of compute and storage in Aurora is a key innovation there as well. We've built purpose-built storage to enable many database activities to be pushed down to the storage layer to free up the compute resources to handle uh, database operations. And Aurora is the fastest growing service in AWS history. And so a typical way that customers on Aurora run analytics, analytics today is they create a writer instance and a reader instance. They run analytics off of that reader instance um, and they use the writer instance for transactional writes. And this works for many workloads. 
But Aurora is optimized for online transactional processing, not analytical processing. And so when you have analytic style queries that require a lot of compute, or you want to analyze data across multiple databases, this pattern may not work. And so what many customers move to is a data pipeline where you're moving data across using a variety of AWS services from Aurora to Redshift. The customers started asking us, can we simplify this? Can we help them just get to Redshift without having to use a bunch of additional steps in between? And that's really what the Zero ETL integration solution is focused on. We want to go from this to a one-step, easy and secure way to enable real-time analytics on petabytes of transactional data. We want to make it super simple to get data from Aurora to Redshift so you can run analytics on that transactional data in near real time. And in, by near real time, I mean on the order of seconds um, in uh, ongoing replication. And so the benefits of this are that this type of solution is easy and reliable. It offers low latency data integration, and you can bring data together in Redshift from multiple Aurora clusters to derive insights across multiple clusters, across data from multiple clusters. And once all your data is in Redshift, you can leverage all of Amazon Redshift's analytical powers and tools, um, such as data sharing and materialized views and federated query um, to do robust analytic processing. So let's take a look at a couple of patterns here. Um, the first is using all of Redshift's powerful tools um, to uh, analyze data in a variety of different ways, share near real-time data um, to different services, and you know use Redshift as sort of the hub of analytics. Another pattern is near real-time analytics from multiple source clusters. In this illustration, you see multiple Aurora clusters moving data to Amazon Redshift to enable creating a view across all of those database clusters. And then one interesting thing about all of this is that with Aurora Serverless V2 and Redshift Serverless, you can have an end-to-end -end operational analytics solution where compute and storage scales as needed on demand on both sides for transactional workloads and analytical workloads. So that now that we've gone over a brief overview of what the Zero ETL integration solution is, um, let's dive in a little bit into how it works. So for the purpose of this illustration, we're going to talk about Amazon Aurora MySQL, which you see on the left-hand side, and Amazon Redshift, the target, which you see on the right-hand side. You can see both the MySQL compute and Redshift compute in blue and purple, um, and then storage for each down below. So you know, you've got your Aurora MySQL cluster running. It's writing transaction logs to Aurora storage. Um, to use Zero ETL integrations, you need to configure your source and target with specific parameters. Um, and specifically on the Aurora MySQL side, you need to enable enhanced bin log, which is a novel innovation that we've made to improve the performance of bin log. And so you turn on bin log and we start writing those files to Aurora storage. And just take a look at what exactly enhanced bin log is. In with bin log in MySQL, traditionally the transaction log is written and then the bin log files are written to storage, and then a two-phase commit uh, you know, commits both things at the same time. 
With Enhanced Bin Log, we're taking a similar approach as Aurora with the separation of compute and storage and pushing down as much of the processing of the bin log files down to Aurora storage as we can. And we're also writing the bin log files and the transaction log files on a per transaction basis in parallel to save time. And so what we see is a dramatic improvement in the amount of transactions that a same size compute cluster can handle uh, because there's less contention for resources when bin log is enabled. So once bin log and other prerequisites are set, uh, you go into the console or the API and you create your integration. And what happens from there is we export the data directly from Aurora Storage and we load that data into Redshift. And then we start streaming changes from Aurora Storage. We've built a unique streaming solution that reads data directly from Aurora Storage and then streams that data to Redshift. While all this is going on, we are monitoring the integration. We detect when data tables need to be reseeded as necessary and when the integration needs to be fixed or recovered, um, we are able to heal the integration uh, automatically. All the while, we report detailed metrics around lag. We report information around tables or columns um, that may have issues. So you can fully understand what exactly is going on in the integration and have confidence that all of your data is being moved from Aurora to Redshift. Um, and that the data that you're querying in Redshift uh, is a mirror of what's in Aurora today. So to summarize, the Aurora Zero ETL integration with Amazon Redshift is a fully managed Aurora capability that enables Aurora customers to use Redshift for near real-time analytics on petabytes of transactional data. Once the data is written into Aurora, it's made available in Redshift within seconds. And this is focused on enabling operational analytics. So you can leverage all of the powerful tools and features that Redshift offers to enable machine learning, to enable complex analytical workloads, to analyze data across multiple source Aurora clusters and really use the right tool for the right job where you're using Aurora for transactional workloads and Redshift for analytical workloads. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you learned something from this session and uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.